skunks and possums to a frog with the powers of Wolverine. Here are 17 amazing animal defense mechanisms. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. Number 17, Northern Fulma. This seabird might look innocent, but if you get too close to it, you'll be rewarded with one of the more revolting defense mechanisms on a list. The Fulma produces a nasty oil in its guts, which can be projectile vomited into the face of a predator. While it could make for an interesting visual, the vomit is thick enough to mat the feathers of an intruding bird, preventing them from flying away. Potato beetle. The larvae of this insect have a novel way to deter predators. It eats nightshade, a poisonous plant, and then, through a series of abdominal contractions, it covers itself in its own toxic feces. The result is what experts term a fecal shield. Boxing crabs. These crustaceans have a cooperative pact with other marine life that usually results in a win-win for all parties concerned. Their name comes from their behavior of holding sea anemones in the claws for the purpose of self-defense. It kind of looks like they're wearing tiny boxing gloves. While it can also look as if the crabs are holding little pom-poms, the anemones can pack a toxic punch. They also benefit from the crab transporting them around, increasing the chance to gather food. Cereal leaf beetle. We just mentioned the survival strategy of the potato beetle. Well, its fellow insect, the cereal leaf beetle, has a similar approach. The hump-backed larvae will smear their body with excrement to hide the coloration and to dissuade predators. With its waist covered in a jelly-like mucus, the effect would be similar to wearing a fecal backpack. Pygmy sperm whale. This creature is rarely seen, but could be considered a miniature counterpart to its larger cousin. The smaller critters aren't much bigger than many dolphins, measuring around 11 feet long and weighing nearly 900 pounds. These cetaceans are unique in that they evade predators by using a tactic usually associated with squids. Pygmy sperm whales have a sac in the belly that contains a dark reddish-brown type of syrup. When predators like orcas are after them, they release the fluid into the water, then swish it around with the tail to disorient their pursuer. Crested porcupines. The porcupine's quills are a well-known and well-respected defense mechanism in the animal kingdom. The African crested porcupine is an old world species found from Italy through sub-Saharan Africa. Its quills run from the head along the back and can be raised into a crest-like formation, hence the name. Quills on this animal can reach 14 inches long and they're known to run backwards to impale their pursuers. Did you know these critters have short tails with quills that produce a rat Settling sound. Cuttlefish. The marine animals are related to squids and octopuses and are not actually fish, but mollusks. As opposed to the self-defense tactics of other animals, these critics have a more passive approach. Cuttlefish can rapidly alter the skin coloration, often within only a second. Changing their color, pattern, and even shape serves to both camouflage themselves and to warn off potential predators. Experts say that the change in coloration can also be a means of communicating with other cuttlefish. Possums. Chances are you've heard the term playing possum. It's named for this marsupial's familiar strategy of essentially playing dead. But it has some other tricks as well. The animal can start foaming at the mouth to convince predators it's sick or toxic. Speaking of which, the critter can let loose a noxious green secretion from its anal glands that has a stench rivaling that of a skunk. Did you know that when possums play dead, they enter a near comatose state that can last from a few minutes to around four hours? Sea cucumbers. Most marine predators tend to avoid these critters. It seems the reputation for self-defense precedes them. Not only do they contain a toxin called holothurin, they engage in a process called evisceration. That's where sticky tubules and other organs are expelled through the posterior at the predator, which serve to entangle them. In addition, the sea cucumbers can expel holothurin, which can kill creatures in the vicinity. Turkey vulture. 
These birds are the most widespread of New World vultures, and they have a number of behaviors that might make them seem hygienically challenged. In particular, the animal has a defense mechanism that can literally be in your face. The vulture will regurgitate semi-digested meat, which produces an evil-smelling substance that usually serves to discourage a predator seeking to raid the nest. If the vulture manages to aim the vomit directly into the aggressor's face or eyes, a stinging sensation will accompany the stench. In certain cases, the vulture will regurgitate a heavy, undigested meal to better take flight from a perceived predator. Skunks. Along with possums, these critters likely have the most familiar defense mechanism on our list, one of which many of us have had the misfortune to personally experience. They belong to the weasel family and are known on sight by their familiar black and white colors, which actually serves as a warning to would-be predators. All weasels can spray musk, but skunks have the strongest odor. The overpowering stink can be smelled for miles downwind. They can accurately aim the spray up to 10 feet, and it's potent enough to discourage bears and even cause temporary blindness. It's one reason why skunks are rarely preyed upon. Bombardier beetle. This insect has become somewhat notorious for its aggressive means of self-defense. The beetle has the ability to shoot a scalding, stinking fluid from its posterior, the mere sight of which would likely deter a predator. Its stomach is a type of reaction chamber where chemicals are mixed to create the foul-smelling spray, then released at temperatures of around 100 degrees Celsius. The spray can be ejected with pinpoint accuracy, and its rapid-fire capability is reminiscent of a machine gun. When expelled, the fluid is hot enough to produce a type of gun smoke. Flying fish. Although flying fish sounds kind of like an oxymoron, these animals are found in oceans all over the world. They are known to make self-propelled leaps from the water into the air, whereupon they expand fins that resemble wings. The long fins enable them to glide for long distances above the water, and they can usually maintain a height of around 20 feet. They've been known to cover up to 1,300 feet while traveling at speeds over 40 miles per hour. Experts say it's a natural ability these fish use to escape predators. Elephant Hawk Moth Caterpillar Before it turns into a large moth, the three-inch long caterpillar defends itself by assuming a posture that makes it look like a snake with four large patches that appear like eyes. Predators like birds are usually hesitant to attack while the insect maintains its reptilian look. Did you know the Elephant Hawk Moth takes its name from the shape of its caterpillar? That shape resembles an elephant's trunk. Iberian ribbed newt. Not unlike the hairy frog, which we shall get to shortly, this amphibian found in Morocco has a defense mechanism that involves a bit of self-mutilation. When threatened, it will push its ribs through the sides of its body. As the bones pierce the skin, the animal produces a toxin that secretes through the newly opened pores. This serves to inject stinging toxins into the mouth of a predator. Thanks to the newt's superior immune system, the pierced skin quickly heals with no infection or scar tissue developing. Exploding ants and termites. Carpenter ants are found in many forested locations throughout the world. But did you know there are several species in Southeast Asia that are known to literally explode? The insects have glands filled with poison inside the bodies. If threatened, they can contract the abdomen and rupture the body, causing poison to explode from the head and cover the attacker with the toxic glue-like substance which immobilizes them. Some species of termites have a similar strategy. They have pouches into which they secrete toxic blue crystals which react to the enemy saliva. When the attacker strikes, the pouches explode killing them. But for both insects, the lethal defense strategies only work one time, and experts say the behavior is a type of self-sacrifice for the greater good. Hairy frog. The name is a bit misleading because the hairy frog isn't actually hairy at all. The name is due to thin strands of skin that develop on the bodies of males during breeding season. They resemble hair and are thought to help the creature better absorb oxygen. But when threatened, the frogs can break the bones in the toes and push them through the skin, creating 
retractable claws. Although experts are unsure about how the talons actually do retract, it's thought they later passively withdraw into the toe pads. The claws can be so sharp that hunters in Central Africa use long spears while capturing the frogs to avoid injury. And because the bizarre defense mechanism resembles the abilities of a character in the X-Men, it's sometimes called the Wolverine Frog.